In a world where the demand for electric vehicles is skyrocketing, the very foundation of these cutting-edge machines, the rare earth magnets within their electric motors, is undergoing a profound transformation. The reliance on rare earth magnets and electric motors has come under scrutiny due to concerns about supply chain dependence and environmental impact. In this video, we'll talk about Tesla and its role in rare earth magnets, particularly within the context of the EV industry. While Tesla's name resonates loudly in the electric vehicle industry, it represents only a fraction of the global demand for rare earth magnets. This revelation might appear surprising at first glance given Tesla's reputation for innovation and its market leadership in the EV sector, but a deeper analysis reveals that the world of rare earth magnets is far broader and more complex. EV motors account for approximately 12% of the global rare earth permanent magnet consumption. Of this, 12% Tesla share is estimated to fall within the range of 15 to 20%. These figures paint a picture of Tesla as a significant player in the rare earth magnet market. It's also essential to recognize that Tesla is part of a larger ecosystem of EV manufacturers, each contributing to the demand for rare earth magnets. Rare earth elements are a bone of contention in EV supply chains, as it can be hard to secure supplies of them. This is important for several reasons, not the least of which is due to the Biden administration's current push for domestically produced electric vehicle component materials. While the pursuit of alternatives is motivated by environmental concerns, supply chain diversification, and cost effectiveness, it's no easy task to find a replacement that matches the performance of neodymium iron boron magnets. One of the primary reasons neodymium iron boron magnets have remained dominant is their superior size and energy efficiency. These magnets excel in providing high torque at low speeds, a crucial factor in electric motors. Additionally, their robust temperature resistance ensures their effectiveness in a variety of conditions, further solidifying their status as the preferred choice for EV manufacturers. Ferrite magnets, an alternative to NDFEB magnets, are indeed cheaper but also come with drawbacks. They're larger, heavier, which can also impact the overall design and efficiency of electric motors. Moreover, they exhibit lower temperature resistance, potentially introducing additional costs related to the electric vehicle's battery system. Another downside of non-rare earth magnets is their lower torque, limiting their ability to produce the necessary rotation force for efficient motor performance. While the challenges of finding suitable alternatives are evident, it's worth noting that several companies are actively engaged in developing rare earth free magnets. One such company, Minneapolis based Nyron Magnetic, secured a $17.5 million grant from the U.S. Department of Energy to fund commercial partnerships and pilot production of its iron and nitrogen magnets. This development signifies the industry's commitment to seeking sustainable alternatives to rare earth magnets. The EV revolution is accelerating as both Europe and the United States pour money into decarbonization, which means the sector is going to remain a key driver of rare earth demand. One significant achievement on this front is the reduction in rare earth consumption within Tesla's Model 3 and Model Y powertrains. These reductions amount to an impressive 25%, marking a significant milestone in the quest to mitigate the environmental footprint of EVs. This reduction demonstrates Tesla's commitment to improving the sustainability of its vehicles while maintaining its high performance standards. However, Tesla's commitment to reducing rare earth dependency did not stop here. During a recent investor day, the company unveiled a visionary business strategy for the coming years. One of the most striking announcements came from Colin Campbell, a member of Tesla's powertrain executive team. Campbell boldly declared the team's intention to eliminate rare earth magnets from their motors citing concerns about the instability of supply and the often high toxicity associated with rare earth mining. To illustrate this commitment further, Campbell presented compelling visuals to investors. He showcased the weight of rare earth materials used in the company's Model Y motors, revealing that approximately 520 grams of these elements were utilized. However, in a subsequent slide, Campbell unveiled Tesla's next-generation permanent magnet motor, which notably contained not a single gram of rare earth. This strategic shift speaks volumes about Tesla's dedication to reimagining the core components of their vehicles in ways that minimize environmental impact. While Tesla did not specify which rare earth minerals they were referring to, the culprits seem apparent to those familiar with EV engineering. 
Notably, approximately 500 grams of neodymium, when combined with other elements like iron, can generate a consistently powerful magnetic field. This field is essential for propelling a vehicle as substantial as the Model Y, highlighting the significance of Tesla's commitment to innovation in this area. This groundbreaking innovation reflects Tesla's commitment to several key objectives. Firstly, Tesla aims to continue driving down costs, making EVs more accessible to more people. By eliminating rare earths from the equation, they're reducing their dependence on materials that often experience unpredictable price fluctuations. It's all about making EVs more affordable. Secondly, Tesla's actively seeking manufacturing processes that minimize environmental and health risks. Reducing the use of rare earths is a crucial step in creating cleaner and more sustainable EVs, which is something we can all get behind. Lastly, this move away from rare earths isn't just about sustainability and cost efficiency, it's also a strategic decision. Tesla wants to reduce its reliance on commodities vulnerable to supply chain disruptions. You see, the global supply chain for rare earths is heavily controlled by China, which can lead to price volatility and potential disruptions, something we've seen in recent times. This reduction in rare earth usage by a prominent player like Tesla underscores the broader industry's drive towards sustainability and resource efficiency. It prompts other automakers and manufacturers to explore alternative materials and technologies that can further decrease their reliance on rare earth elements while maintaining or even improving the performance of electric vehicles. Before we explore alternatives, it's crucial to understand why rare earth magnets, particularly neodymium iron boron magnets, have become the go-to choice for electric motor applications. These magnets possess exceptional magnetic properties, offering high power density and efficiency. Their ability to generate a strong magnetic field in a compact form has made them indispensable in EVs where size, weight, and performance are critical factors. However, the Achilles heel of rare earth magnets lies in their name. They're rare. The majority of rare earth elements are mined and processed in China, which has led to significant price volatility in recent years. The soaring demand for rare earths driven primarily by the EV boom has exacerbated concerns about supply security and raised questions about the sustainability of relying on these materials. The emergence of companies like Nyron Magnetics highlights a growing interest in researching and developing competitive alternatives to rare earth magnets. These endeavors aim to harness the advantages of alternative materials while addressing the limitations of traditional ferrite magnets. Nyron Magnetics in particular has received attention for its efforts in advancing iron and nitrogen magnets. Their grant from the U.S. Department of Energy signals a significant step toward commercializing and scaling the production of these alternative magnets. While challenges undoubtedly exist, including scalability and cost-effectiveness, such initiatives provide a glimmer of hope for a future where rare earth magnets are no longer the primary choice. One promising avenue for mitigating rare earth dependency in motor technology involves the exploration of alternative magnetic materials capable of matching the performance of rare earth magnets. While some manufacturers have managed to reduce the rare earth content in their motors, these alternative materials often fall short in terms of magnetic properties. For example, ferrite magnets composed of iron oxide are a cost-effective option but exhibit a significant decrease in power, sometimes up to 70% when compared to a motor using rare earth magnets of the same size. This limitation necessitates the use of either larger motors or additional magnetic material to achieve the desired performance levels. But companies like Proterial have made significant advancements in the development of magnets with improved magnetic properties. Their magnets require only a 20% increase in magnetic material to maintain the motor's power density, offering a more viable alternative to traditional rare earth magnets. Furthermore, Nyron Magnetics is actively engaged in the research and development of iron nitrate magnets with the aim of matching the performance of neodymium magnets without relying on rare earth elements. While these efforts hold promise, it's crucial to acknowledge that materials with truly comparable performance are still on the horizon. Nonetheless, ongoing advancements in materials, science, and motor design could potentially bridge this gap making alternative magnetic materials a feasible solution in the near future. Another innovative approach to reducing rare earth dependency involves optimizing motor designs. 
Australian technology company Ultimate Transmissions has proposed a high-speed ferrite motor design that seeks to achieve power levels comparable to rare-earth permanent magnet motors. This unique design relies on larger ferrite magnets and operates at higher speeds, reaching up to an impressive 20,000 RPM. The increased speed allows for a smaller motor size while maintaining performance. To address the challenge of effectively containing ferrite magnets, a carbon fiber wrap has been proposed for the rotor, a technology previously demonstrated by Tesla in its Plaid vehicles. Although this approach is still in the simulation phase, it presents a compelling option for eliminating rare earths in PM motors. While there may be a slight reduction in torque and a longer stack required, the potential benefits, including reduced costs, lower weight, and comparable power, make this an intriguing avenue for exploration in the realm of motor technology. We should also mention this critical point that, despite potential drops in demand for rare earth magnets due to the adoption of alternatives, the overall market is projected to experience substantial growth by 2035. This projection is based on the increasing demand for rare earth magnets in various industries, including electronics, renewable energy, and of course electric vehicles. In the context of this anticipated market growth, even a 3% to 4% reduction in demand for rare earth magnets, assuming Tesla maintains its leadership in the EV market, would have a relatively limited impact. The demand for these magnets is expected to triple by 2035, while production is only projected to double, creating a significant supply-demand gap. Therefore, the evolving landscape of rare earth magnets in the electric vehicle industry represents a complex and multifaceted challenge. Final Thoughts While Tesla plays a substantial role in this narrative, it's essential to recognize that it's just one piece of the puzzle. The industry's reliance on rare earth magnets, particularly neodymium iron boron magnets, is deeply ingrained due to their unparalleled performance. Efforts to find alternatives, such as the work being done by companies like Niron Magnetics, provide hope for a future where sustainability and cost effectiveness can coexist. However, the transition away from rare earth magnets is not without its challenges, and the market's growth trajectory suggests that demand for these magnets will continue to rise. Thanks for watching. Until next time.